Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 535. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 534 to 536. In this trick here, we want to count networking days, but we have days where we work only half a day. So, uh, for instance, um, if our weekends are Saturday and Sunday, oh, but Saturday we work a half day, then we have to figure out how to do something uh, different than we've seen in other videos. Same with this. If our weekend is Monday and Tuesday, uh, so three, Tuesday will be our weekend, but on the uh, Monday, number two, we'll be working a half a day. Now, I've done extensive videos on networking days. One, two, three. All three of these formulas have just a slight um, amendment to them to count half days. All right, uh, the networking days, if your weekend is Saturday and Sunday, is straightforward. You just use networking days. And you say the start date, comma, end date, comma, and your holidays. And I'm going to hit the F4 key. And that counts networking days. I'm going to scoop this out here. That's, this is if you have Saturday and Sunday and those holidays over there, right? Now, what if uh, you had 2010 and you uh, had weekend of Monday and Tuesday? I'm going to control V here and just change it to networking days dot and then this new international. I'll show you what to do in just a moment if you don't have this and your working weekends are Monday and Tuesday. Ah, but that's just uh, beautiful. Actually, this argument right here is new. So whereas networking days had three arguments, networking days dot international has four. And this third argument is was so amazing. I'm gonna type a three here. Oh I have to scoot over here so you can see this. I'm gonna type a comma. Okay, so I'm going to type a 3, and there it is, 1 for Saturday and Sunday, 2, 3, 4. So our weekend is Monday and Tuesday. It even has Sunday only, Monday only, etc. So I'm going to type a 3, and then a comma, and then there's the holidays. That's the only difference. All right, so, but that's not what we're trying to do here. Uh, we want to add a half day because this, both of these formulas are counting uh, too many, or uh, not enough days, because this formula is excluding Saturday and this formula is excluding our Monday. All right, so we need to add, it's it's excluded it, so we'll just ha add a half back for each uh, day worked a half day. Now let's just think about this. Um, we are going to have to do a little bit of a tricky array formula here to extract all the days between these two dates. So we'll use uh, equals weekday. And the way we're going to get all of the weekdays, because we're just going to say, hey, weekday, look at all the days between these two dates. And when it's equal to 7, because weekday gives 1 for Sunday, 2 for Monday, 7 for Saturday by default. Whenever it's equal to 7, then uh, we'll have to get a half day for that. So here's how we're going to do it. Row, indirect, and indirect, I'm going to say, hey, take that, ampersand, shift 7, double quotes, colon, double quotes, shift 7 for ampersand, and the end date. All this is doing, we've done this many times before, this is creating all the days between these two. It's text, so indirect converts it to a reference, and then row says, hey, that's a reference, so now I can give you all the rows. And in essence, we get the serial dates for all the dates between these. Now I'm going to say that is equal to, and I'm going to take this 7 up here. F4. Now that's not going to work. That's just going to give us a true and false F9. Whoops. <laughs> that was F7. F9 and uh, Control Z. So from that we need to get uh, ones and zeros. So I'm going to do double negative and then close parentheses around that. I'm going to put two close parentheses and come to the front and do some product because some product will add now. So that's how we count Saturdays. Now that's not going to work because there's three of them. So what do we do? We get a half divided by two. Now I'm going to scoop this out here, escape, and just come up here. And what do we do? We need to add this back in. So I plus, get rid of that equal sign. And then I can double click, or I'm going to drag it down like that. 
Now we can uh, also the same little bit. This is the trick to this video copy. It really can just be added to each one of these formulas here. So the international, we just come to the end, Control uh, V, except for this one is not equal to 7. It's equal to 2. And you can just type a 2 in there if, if you wanted. Control Enter. All right, and so this is, uh, if you have Saturdays and Sundays, pretty straightforward. Networking Day's been around for a while. This one's new in 2007. If you don't have this, then you'll have to watch uh, 438. But here it is. All we did was we added that same little bit to the end of the formula to add uh, a half day for each uh, Saturday that we'd already excluded. All right, uh, county networking days, even when we have a, work a half day. By the way, what if you worked a third of a day? Divide by three or some other, you divide by three. All right, we'll see you next trick.